Clover. How can a magnifying glass burn paper? I know what you're thinking. It's just glass. Glass can't do anything to paper. They're the same thing as not No. Have I got nuts? No, I've not. It is possible. This is because a magnifying glass is actually a convex lens. Now, a convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. I'm sure you think you're like a fish or something? Yeah, you're right. This shape of the convex lens makes the parallel rays of sunlight to, ref to reflect such that they converge or come together as a point. So the two they come to like how to meet up? No, they do not. As the rays converge, the concentration of sunlight at, at that point increases and now producing heat. And now, thus producing heat, this heat starts a fire, which eventually causes the paper to be burned. work. When the light hits an apple, it absorbs all the colours of light except red, and then the red is reflected back. And that's why we see apples as red, pears are green, plums are purple, and, and so on and so on. Now a mirror consists of a glass surface with an extremely smooth and thin layer of metal film behind it. When light hits a mirror, it passes through the glass box and reaches through the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colours of light, but reflects back all of the light. We tend to be able to see ourselves in the mirror, but even snow reflects all the colours of light. As I be, then why can't we see our reflection in it? Like a mirror does. This eyes light is smoothness. Snow is a rest of bumpy surface. It reflects back light in all directions. While the metal film being exactly smooth reflects light more than ever. Fun fact about snow. It's near the South Pole. The snow is so dry that you can't even make snow with it. Why is your reflection up, up, down, upside down on the screen? Okay, go and grab a screen before I explain the whole thing. Some of this might be a bit difficult for you. You might be thinking, can you compress a spoon? Compress means small. Sometimes you can. Okay, you maybe not. You can look at as a task instead of finding all sorts of stuff. Anyway. Why is your reflection upside on a spoon? Your image appeared upside down when you looked at the spoon because of the inward curve. The surface of the spoon, which is curved inwards, acts like a concave mirror. You look confused. Let me explain. I'm sure you will. A concave mirror is a mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Being curved inwards, it makes it reflect or bounces back the light, light rays in a different manner. When you see yourself in the screen, which is like a concave mirror, the light rays from your face fall on, on the top of the screen and get reflected downwards. While the light rays from your feet from your feet fall from on the bottom of the screen and get reflected upwards. As a result, you see yourself upside down. Now the point where all these light rays meet is called the focal point. When you stand beyond this point, I mean then you will be able to see an inverted image of yourself. However, if you stand there 
and before the focal point, the image will look upright. Welcome back. Let's look at the convex mirror. Why is a convex mirror used as a rear view mirror? Hang on. I think you can look out there right now. You might have an amazing car, Porsche, whatever, Piero. But your rear view is missing. Don't do not don't you ever use a concave mirror? It will usually show your magnified images. Now put the convex mirror and see the results. If you use a convex mirror on the car, look, the image is much smaller, isn't it? Do you know what the difference was? If we use a concave mirror for our car, we will not be able to see the vehicles behind us properly. This is because the concave mirror will magnify the object and we will see a very enlarged image. Thus, we require a mirror which gives us a wider view of the vehicles behind us. In this case, a convex mirror proves to be the right choice. This is because a convex mirror will forms a highly diminished image, thus making the traffic look much smaller. As a result, we can see a, num a large number of vehicles in a quite a small mirror.